Now I might be wrong, but it seems to me that one of the most heavily trafficked places in Trinidad seems to be here at the Uriah Butler Highway, especially at the Churchill Roosevelt Highway intersection, where there is now an interchange that greatly improves the situation. And for that, the country is very grateful. Mr. Jack Warner, great job. But why then is the government choosing to construct a whopping four interchanges at Debe, Pinal, Siparia, and Faizabad? Not only that, five overpasses at Hermitage Road, Suchet Trace, Tulsa Trace, San Francisco Road, and Siparia Road, plus an underpass at Faizabad Road. As you can tell, it's not just a little construction, but much, much, much more construction, which makes expenses soar through the roof. Can we blame the people of Trinidad for being interested in how their tax dollars are spent? Possibly 176,000 truckloads or 1.4 million tons of aggregate will be used in the construction. All especially from the Northern Range, which is a range of tall hills, in case you didn't know, that runs in North Trinidad. This Northern Range we're supposed to be proud of and taken care of, since it not only supports the major rivers in our country, but as previously mentioned, it consists of sedimentary, mineral-rich, or aggregate rocks, which are combined with other materials like water, bitumen, and cement to make concrete and, of course, pavements. Deforestation has greatly impacted Trinidad in a negative way, as the Northern Range has been said to be raped not just from the vast amount of quarrying being done, but also by the poorly executed agriculture, which is damaging it. Now tell me, is the general public aware of the environmental issues happening here before they cry that we are doing progress? Maybe, maybe not. Because look at what you've let the Northern Range become. Does the urban big city with its concrete jungle truly care? Or have they forgotten Mother Earth and how much she provides for us? I'm asking you, the corporations dealing with the commercial value of the wood in the trees most certainly have not forgotten. Well, maybe they would be interested in knowing that many special woods such as teak, balata, saman, boys cano, dedar, pui, mahogany, royal palm, tantakayo, matapal, apamat, and bamboo all stand to be destroyed. All these expenses within only a nine mile distance. Well, who else should care about this that is going on? Maybe the tourism of the nation should care. Don't they stand to prosper a little bit more from us having a balanced mind in keeping our culture while industrializing certain areas of the country? Not everything. Can one truly be appreciated without the other? I don't think so. If you were a tourist, okay, let's just say that you, you changed color and you became a tourist, Trinidad, and we know many Trinis like to imagine themselves as that. They don't want to be Trini. They want to say, oh, no, I'm an American. No, I'm an English person. I come from away, but you know, my roots in Trinidad, but that's not what I am. But let's just say that's not what you are. And you are a tourist and you just came here. Would you want to come and visit an over-industrialized concrete jungle, which you can find practically anywhere else in this so-called progressive world, full of so-called first world countries? Or would you want to try and find the private, small countryside life? Now looking at the tourists and asking them, you would see that they go for that private, small countryside life. It appeals to them because it's what's special about our country. We are not supposed to be another America. Why do you want that? In some ways, the Debe area is the perfect example of this. And we want to lose what makes our country special. Now back to the report.